Hey everybody, Sterling R. Jackson. I want to talk today about light mixed voice, medium mixed voice, and heavy mixed voice. So join me. Alright, so hopefully you've found a little bit of mixed voice or you've, you've maybe found something that kind of sounds like mixed voice or works a little bit like mixed voice. A lot of times when people start to find something that works for them, they will have more head voice resonance, so they get a little bit confused, and, uh, and it's because you need to build strength in the coordination. You need to learn about the compression or the threshold that you're kind of um, you know, isolating and, and getting close to or all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to um, talk about the different varying qualities of mixed voice that you can start to add. When I learned mix, I, uh, it was kind of weak and it was kind of small, and if you follow any of my journey here, you'll you'll recall that I say some things about mixed voice. You know, when I found it, it felt completely different than I thought it would. It sounded completely different than I thought it would. I was using muscles in my throat that I barely ever used before, and that's coming from somebody that does a lot of stupid voices and grew up in a family that does a lot of goofy voices and stuff. So um, keep that in mind. But anyway, um, I had a lot of head voice resonance. It was kind of weak. And then every time somebody was presenting me with an exercise or I was following some course online or something where they could make it light, medium, and heavy, I, mine almost always just sounded the same. Even though I was singing the right vowels and I was kind of trying to change it and I was trying to put more muscle into it, it just didn't make any sense. Well, I'm going to probably do something like that in this video that you'll be like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I can't figure it out. But um, I haven't been singing yet today, so this might not sound the best, but um, either way, the information will still be there. So the more ooh or e we have in things those are the hardest vowels to sing and the more they tend to push you towards head voice when you're first learning about mix it's probably best to use something like ooh because i love to use o to ooh in terms of learning how to figure out how to sorry my dog is being a trying to get in my trash can because there's delicious things in trash um you're probably going to be <laughs> using a more head voice quality so if we take something like O to O, O is very chest voicey, O is very head voicey, we can learn how to transition between those two and we might be able to find some mixed voice in that. Since there's different methods in finding mixed voice, and some of them work for some people and some not for others, um, it can get a little confusing, but try to find one that works for you. One of those might be O to O. O, 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 O. So you hear me going through my bridge there, I'm thinning out the note, and I'm, I'm stretching the vowel uh, this way. So I'm not stretching anything horizontal. If you remember, anything stretched horizontal is usually going to cause problems. So what do I mean by that? I mean that if the larynx raises and things go like this and flatten out, you're usually going to have a problem with tension building and then hitting a, you know, a wall or building a wall, and it's, it's no good. So if I go, oh, oh, oh and I try to build from right here, it's not going to work. So I have to imagine the resonance elevator again, moving from oh, oh, it's like a teardrop shape, oh, and it literally is that way because we're moving behind the soft palate up into the nasal cavity and stuff. That's what head voice is. Make sense? So um, now, if we get into a little bit of this or a demonstration of light mix, light mix, medium mix, and heavy mix, we're going to be using three different kind of vowel sounds or three different kind of shapes in the mouth. So first, we do something like that where we're trying to use ooh, and like I said, this is for people that kind of already found mix or are trying to experiment with it. We'll start right here. Uh, this I'm a baritone, so this is right where my bridge is, could be where yours is too. And I'm going to be using that again, O to ooh, so follow along. I'm trying to think about the note going like this each time. Oh, not like this. Oh, oh. Think about it like this, a ghost of a ghost. So, what a great thing to imagine when you're trying to express yourself. So, oh, oh, here that I'm not breaking in a falsetto, not using extra air, I'm using less air, actually. Oh, 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 oh. Does that make some sense? So it should be kind of a nice glide. Do not try to 
jump over your bridge and just go, ah, you know, you're going to get confused. And it might feel like that at first. Or if you are experiencing that, just keep trying to slow it down and keep trying to glide. A lot of people have trouble, you know, they can go up, but they can't come back down. Just keep working with it. It's a coordination. You have to work on building a new coordination. It's a very strange, weird thing at first. So this would be considered a light mix. Uh, I'm trying to think of a song I could use. I could try to use like Crazy by uh, Gnarls Barkley, if that's how you say his name. Crazy. I'm singing a different note. Crazy, crazy. So you hear that there's head voice quality in there, and it's not very powerful, but it is mixed. You hear me dropping back in the chest every time. Crazy. Oh. So that would be an example of light mix. Let's do the same thing with medium mix. My threshold, my compression threshold, my mix threshold, the place that's keeping my voice together. If you watch my video on the cry technique, if you can find a place where the voice is trying to grab a hold and keep your vocal cords together, that's your new mix voice space. I talk about these things at length in different places, uh, Patreon as well. But it's not down here, it's up here. Ah, 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 ah. They sound different, right? That's my mix threshold. When you pay attention to where that line is, and it is very much so a kind of a line, a compression point, we would like it to be more like a series of muscles pressing in like this, but it does tend for a lot of people to be more like a point, like the vocal cords. Ah, 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 ah. So if you pay attention to that point, we can be more above that point, or we can try to... Could you try again? Thank you, Siri. We can be more... We can be more above that point, or we can be more below that point. What I mean by that is we're allowing resonance um, up and above the threshold, which feels a little bit easier, and that's more head voicey, that's lighter mix. We can be closer to that threshold point and kind of, you know, teetering around that point, which could be medium mix, and then if we try to push our resonance and keep that tension or that pressure down farther, that would be considered a uh, heavier mix. I'll show you what I mean. And instead of just keep doing examples with Gnarls Barkley, I'll do it like this. If I take this note right where my bridge is, I'll sing ooh, I'll sing all, like all the small things, <laughs> all, like all, oh, that's a cute poppy. All, and then I'll sing O. Oh. So we're gonna be kind of using those vowels to kind of guide us around. So if I find mix first, there's light. And then all. Ah, ah. You hear if I start pulling that W in there, it's starting to pull me back down towards what sounds more like chest. Then if I use O. Oh, oh, it's starting to sound a lot more like chest voice. It's because I'm pulling more chest voice resonance into it. I'll go up higher. Once again, I'm mixing. I'm not just going, ooh. I'm not just doing Mickey Mouse. Ooh. That's harder to, make, to jump back into, so I am mixing. Ooh. Now, the higher up you go, the more you're going to be in head voice, the more the resonance elevator is raised, and you're going to have a harder time pulling in that, that chest resonance because you're going to have more trouble muscularly pulling that, that resonance back down because it's already gone too high in the elevator. Get it? <laughs> so I'll come way up here. Ooh, all, oh. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. So you hear now I'm losing a lot more of that chest resonance. Way up here. Ooh, oh. Now, like I said, I haven't been singing today. I might be able to get these things heavier if I'm warmed up. But still, it doesn't really matter. You hear that I kind of have that threshold and it's either gonna be more up here or more down here. Now, I'm gonna go over to Patreon and we're gonna do some exercises together so we can try to work this out, all right? But either way, I hope this helped you a little bit. I hope that the idea helps a little bit. And um, you know, if you're, if you're not following along with me, you can find other people doing things like this. Brett Manning um, is, is a great uh, teacher when it comes to mixed voice. And um, so you, know, you can always look him up or try to get some lessons with him. Uh, anyway, um, thank you everybody.
I should say, if you want to take lessons with me too, I'm happy to teach you. You can reach out to me, sterlingraviejackson at gmail.com. Thanks, everybody.